When you Google the word manifest, it literally means to display. Like I'm showing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we say show and prove. Right. So I'm manifesting. Like my actions are indicative of that which Mm -hmm. I desire. Mm -hmm. Not just visualization. I I love vocabulary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like all of it. Right. So I, I am firmly convinced There are millions that are using the word manifest when they mean visualization. That's it. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Romance of Real Estate, where we help you level up in life, love, and money. So before we get started, yep, thank you for that angle, Mike. Uh Uh-uh, go back. Yep. (laughs) They got on a church dress because (laughs) they said they needed to preach to (laughs) y'all. So you can tap back in, Mike. Focus right here. Focus right here. Yo, so in this episode, I was quiet for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you got to go pull it, more bullets in your gun before you come back to war. Pow, pow. And then, you know, February 23rd, uh-huh. 2022, I was bored. And then I told him, I said, I'm bored, but I got questions, fellas. Yeah. I need to know the truth. This is a safe place. Mm-hmm. You are safe here. You are welcome here. Yes. All right. So... I do judge. Don't let me lie to you. (laughs) All right. So, um, but I said for real, for real, what do y'all fellas think about this new fab where women praise rocks and et cetera? So let me clarify it. You know what I mean? Let me clarify it. Mm -hmm. That was me being an agitator. But the truth is all of a sudden there's this new Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. substitute of faith Mm -hmm. in crystals. Mm. Because somebody at the store decided that this color provided this type of energy or this type of manifestation. He said the store. You know what I'm saying? So all of a sudden you see like women rocking the little green joint with the green joint. Like, you know, it's going to, it's money's coming soon. Listen. You know what I'm saying? So like I be struggling. I be like the money at work, ain't it? Like, you know what I'm saying? The money in the paycheck. And then, so, like, there's other ones that, like, bring love, but you full of shit. And so, like, and so, like I just be wanting to know, like, yo, that ain't going to make your energy better because you got on a colored stone. I mean. So, my girls, yes. you know, we got this podcast thing. <laughs> and, you know, I just happened to ask y'all. Yeah. And y'all was like, uh-uh, hold on to that. We going to. And y'all came together fitted today. Yes, yes. So, like, you know, welcome back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's Shout out to, to Mike for getting us together. Yeah, but I got a question. So mm-hmm. I mean, people were on the comments because I was asking the fellas, but yeah. more women came than fellas. Mm-hmm. And then okay. they was like, you know, some, some fellas said this. I'm not going to say no names. You could go to the post. <laughs> They pray to rocks now and not the Lord. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why they effed up in the head. Oh. I said, oh man. <laughs> so then I got guys that are that are that are Ooh, they got people on here talking no, about no. talking about like, no, this is what they're doing. Okay. Like it's this the Instagram no. post. Oh, so the they got the guys. Can you trust the Instagram post? Oh man, let's go right here. <laughs> there is a guy looking at a fire, a rock fireplace. Oh. That he's praising it. All right, yeah, right on, Mike. Mm. Um, and then, you know, I got a guy on here. You know, he's a married guy, uh-huh. successfully married, too. Okay. Uh, meaning that. 13 mm-hmm. years. All right. Okay. And, and he was like, that. whatever brings them peace. Okay. So uh, yeah. I respect that. Mm-hmm. Because, like, somebody might say, like, going to the boat and you're paying $8.67 in <laughs> gas. That <laughs> might, that's not their peace. But right. well, that's my peace, so I'm going to pay right. for that. That's right. Right. that's right. Um, so, like, I, I respect that that perspective, mm-hmm. um, you know, and so, you know, women came on here and, and, and some may have said like, you know, they use crystals and gemstones for their belief in metaphysical properties that dates back to ancient Egyptian times. Falls in line with meditation, caracas, burning, spices, uh, gums and herbs. Okay. okay. So like that was the educated re- response. Mm-hmm. Um, in the sense of he's trying to give me knowledge. Yes. Right. Yes. And right. where the ba- and where the basis is. Okay. That's right. You know, and that was a gentleman. Um, you know, there was you know there's some chicks to be like, you know, I mean, ain't nobody asking you what you do. <laughs> and, but but like if you know me, you know I'm okay with that. Yes. 
Um, you know, one said, I love crystals and, you know, anybody who does it, like, you know, more power to them. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. So, you know, this falls in line for me uh -huh. and I'm going to let you take over, you know, because this one, I don't know if it's going to be too much real estate in this, <laughs> uh, but this, this goes into like manifestations and I'm going to be honest with you as a man, mm -hmm. it's a turn off. Mm hmm. When a woman say, you know, like, I'm going to speak it into existence. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like them be the women that y'all be talking about targeting. I just need to find a nigga with the jackpot. <laughs> I'm just keeping it a buck with you. Because, yeah. because I'm going to be honest with you. You're not manifesting shit at the crib and you got to go work for it. Hire whatever type of work or skill set that you have to mm -hmm. do that mm -hmm. to provide. Yes. As a single woman, like you said, hey, some single, if you single, you got to provide and protect yourself. That's yeah. what you got to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I respect that. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel, I'm not a believer that I want to make $100,000 a month. It's a real life goal. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in my house. Yeah. I tell my lady. I tell Mike. Yeah. She, I said it today. Yeah. It's it. Cash flow. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking active. Right. Cash flow. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I manifestate the ideas that will do that. But in manifestating the ideas, I'm also talking about the work I got to do to get to them. Right. I mean, right. All right. I don't hear people mm -hmm. that praise to the rocks or, or put it into the air. Uh, I don't see the action behind it. Right. And so, like, th that's where I just be calling them bullshit. Okay. So, okay. me being me. Okay. Yeah. You know, I just be like, the rocks is just not that the rocks don't. I don't know. They they just don't. It don't work. Like that's like saying money fall on trees. So I'm gonna sit in front of the tree and praise the tree. Let me fall back because I might be out of pocket. No, there's so much here to unpack. Right. Number one, right. I love to talk about definition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to manifest. Right. Right. When you Google it, which I don't have the ability, but you all can Google it at home. When you Google the word manifest, it literally means to display. Like I'm showing. Mm -hmm. Like. You know, we say show and prove. Right. So I'm manifesting like my actions are indicative yeah. of that which mm -hmm. I desire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not just visualization. Yes. I, I love vocabulary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like all of it. Right. So I, I am firmly convinced there are millions that are using the word manifest when they mean visualization. That's it. Okay, mm -hmm. that's number one. Like, Hold on, I'll stop right there. Mm -hmm. That was the end of this clip. Make sure you go watch the podcast <laughs> for more because it ain't visualization 100%. Keep going. Right. And so then we have hosts. Oh, nah, don't be gentle. Okay, nah. so when, when we say whatever brings them peace, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that, was, that was a gentleman's response. No, no right? don't save them. They don't want to be saved. When we mm -hmm. say whatever brings them peace, right? One of the reasons we have such a fallen state, everyone has their own beliefs and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But if this is someone that is in the faith, like someone that says, hey, I believe in God and right. I have crystals. It's not whatever brings you peace. Right. Because that's me overlooking perhaps your ignorance or you not knowing that what you're doing is actually a sin in the eyes of God. Stay right. with me and I'm going to bless you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because when you're going to crystals and you're seeking healing and power, that means you say that power comes from something other than God. Right. That's idolatry. Yes. So no, it's not whatever brings you peace. Now, if you're not a church, come on. If you're not a believer, then hey, that's on you. That's your life. I'm still not going to agree with it, but it, again, I'm not here to judge you. But if there right. is someone that's in the faith that is doing this and wearing the crystals and attributing certain truths or certain healing powers to these things that came from the creator, I know you're going to get that. Mm -hmm. um, then we need to lovingly help educate and correct them of why that is not up, up, upright in the eyes of God. And it's just, Simply wrong. Ooh. Idolatry. Anytime you look. What's that mean? To, anytime you look to anything other than God for power, that's idolatry. So whether it's a structure, mm -hmm. whether it's a rock, mm -hmm. whether it's your man, mm -hmm. whether it's your money, mm -hmm. all power comes from God. If you're a believer, mm -hmm. all power 
comes from God. So anytime you take your eyes off the source and you look somewhere else, that is out of alignment. And so, no, I'm, we're not going to talk about no crystals, no rocks, saging, all this stuff that we're hey, doing. Sage, the sage is big. Let, I didn't well, bring that up. Well, here it is. Let's clean the air real quick. Well, yeah, listen, but she finna let, get in here. I just want to say this is all indicative of the fallen state of man. Yes. And the confusion that we have created mm -hmm. because the people, without knowledge, the people perish. And let's just piggyback and say... uh the Bible says, and all thy getting, get understanding. Please. We are not speaking from places of understanding. We're just saying something that sounds good in the moment, and we're just rolling with it. Mm -hmm. Not we. I'm saying y'all. I'm just trying to be inclusive so y'all don't <laughs> feel alone, but it ain't me. So <laughs> even in that, we, even when we say idolatry, it's not just something that you attribute power to or that you feel like you're getting power from. It's anything that you would put before God. Mm -hmm. So that means that if... If I'm saying, okay, the crystals is doing this and doing that, mm. who who gave the crystals the power? Mm -hmm. Let's just say. Mm -hmm. okay. So mm -hmm. then now what you're doing is you are taking the recognition yes. of what God can do and what and what God is capable of. And now you are you are worshiping the creation yeah. and you have left the create the creator out of the picture. Right. Mm. Everything on this earth was made. When we go back to the comment and they were trying to give you a little bit of knowledge about the different properties, you right. Mm -hmm. Because there are different things that do different things. Right. Meaning it was created to heal. Right. It was created mm -hmm. to allow your skin to flourish. Yeah. It was created to allow your dietary needs to be sufficient so that your body can have some longevity. That's what I'm it was created to do. Under my pillow. I, I just don't, don't cut it out. We not cut it out. No, cut it out. No, no, cut it out. No, no. no. Mm -mm. What I'm no, I'm talking about different things. I talk about rocks. Come on oh. now. Okay. Because, <laughs> but all of those things were created. Yes. Facts. Everything that you see, everything that you don't see, everything that you breathe, mm -hmm. that was because the Lord saw fit to make it. Yes. So whatever good it does for you. Thank you. It's just, it, that's its purpose. Yeah. But that came only because God said, I know you need this. I know you need that. I'm not, this is what I'm going to give to help you. So it's my hands that did the work. Right. Why are you praising the thing that I made and not the thing that made it? And this is why, and it, we all have to get an understanding. Like we've all been on this journey. But for example, this is why I don't do yoga, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I didn't think there was anything wrong with go mm -hmm. yoga. But in all that getting, get, get an understanding. understanding. I don't need that that meme you show with the man like worship. Oh no no no! Mm -hmm. I don't worship nothing but God. Mm -hmm. Okay. So therefore, I can't be doing no positions where I'm doing like sun worship. Mm -hmm. No, I don't worship the sun neither. Mm -hmm. I don't worship rocks. The son, nothing but the father. So anything that's Erica I never just. Knew, I, I never knew that they um, had a cross mingling. Well, like that. people try to explain it away. But when you look at the actual names of the position, mm -hmm. the actual name, there will be no worship in any other direction but God. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Period. Dot. So when we get into these other things, what we often hear is, well, it doesn't hurt anything. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't hurt necessarily anything, but it hurts you. Mm -hmm. If you're a believer, because you're giving your worship to someone other than God. And God is a God of love. God is a God of grace. And God is also a God of wrath. And he is a jealous God. Yeah, and he said, you will not put anything on anyone before me. Right. So you're actually creating consequences that you're going to have to reap in the future. So look, we want to go to Egypt. You want to go wherever you want to go and talk about all the stuff, these things that is perfectly fine. No one is discrediting. I know you said a new fab. It's been around for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So is the devil. Mm. Just because it's been around doesn't mean that it's good for you. Doesn't mean that it's helpful to you. Doesn't mean that it profits you. Right. Now, if you believe in something else, that's on you. We all have the right to choose what we're going to believe in. But what bothers me is when those who purport to be Bible believing Christians mm -hmm. believe in the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But then they want to have the crystals on the side. 
You don't need nothing on the side. That's like me being married to my husband and trying to have something on the side. Right. I don't need nothing on the side. Right. My husband mm-hmm. take care of this, that, and everything in between. We don't need no side dishes. Mm-hmm. He got this. Just like my God has everything. When you introduce something else, that's you basically saying that like God needed help. Mm-hmm. So that's the issue of you and your faith. And it's not necessarily something that needs to be attacked as much as it is something that needs to help be educated. Right. I ain't sorry, but she's actually saying she said it better. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, it's just it's not helpful. Mm-hmm. We spend so much time, which is heartbreaking, mm-hmm. because we say all the time that time is your most valuable asset. Mm-hmm. And even when I say we spend time, not even investing time, we spend time mastering these useless other practices instead of sticking with. The template that was given, Mm -hmm. (laughs) sticking with the scope of work, Mm -hmm. sticking with what has always worked and never lost its power. Why do I need a rock? So let me ask you this. What would your response be? Not attacking anybody that believes different. I'm Mm -hmm. not here to, you know, but what would your response be to somebody who um, is not a follower of Christ? Mm -hmm. Your response says you, you, you are grounded in, in the faith of, mm-hmm. you know, Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. Lord Jesus Christ. And for somebody else, they may not have that same rooted, That's grounded, right. mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, discipline that yeah. you have in faith. And so um, if they were a different faith and things mm-hmm. of that nature, how would you respond to that? I would say I want just like I am anchored in what it is I believe to be true and what I walk in. I would just ask that you do the same. We will Google real quick to see if a business is good. Mm -hmm. Google what you're doing and make sure that it's in alignment with what it is that you purport to believe and follow. Mm -hmm. That's all. And so when they do that, some of these things have like definitions or or sources and all that. So that's why I asked that, right? Mm -hmm. Because somebody would say, comments, that the Bible is man-made. And so like those type of things, like they they tend to manipulate Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Per my belief, mm-hmm. I'm not judging yours. Mm-hmm. Per my belief, they tend to manipulate it. The, the, the Bible's man made, mm-hmm. but, but you believe it and you follow it. Mm-hmm. So, why am I wrong or why do you feel indifferent about what I do? I didn't say I felt you were no, wrong. No, no, I'm just telling you, like, that's people right. I get. I mean, they, they can think what, what they desire. That's, that's their right. Yes. Um, I would offer that what I believe, I'm again, I'm going to just try to say it differently. What I believe is what I'm willing to live and die for. Right. If you're willing to live and die for something else, I respect that. I can live in harmony with you. I don't have to try to change you. Mm -mm. You don't have to try to change me. Right. We can live in harmony. My concern is for those who say that they do believe Mm -hmm. in God and we still have these crystals. That's what I see a whole lot of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you wearing a cross. And you got the crystals or a cross and you got the, the belly ring. The, the waist beads. beads. The waist, the waist beads. beads. Like, hey, what's the waist beads the about? Sage. I see though, but I see and those, but I don't know what the waist beads mean. Like, like holla at me. Like, you know what I'm saying? My girl ain't got none of them things, so I don't know. Well, there are those who wear the waist beads simply to measure their waist. Okay. That's it. They just want to see, hey, this is what it was before and I've lost weight. And so now I can take some beads off. Okay. And it seems very innocent. Mm-hmm. But there's a history to waste beads. Okay. Go ahead. This, this, this is what we have to understand. Okay. When something was given a purpose when it was made, the purpose isn't null and void because you found a different use for it. Right? Mm-hmm. A condom was made to fit on, fit on a male's penis. Just because you start putting it on your fingers and wearing it as a glove, if that's your new use for it, that's what you done figured out. However, it doesn't negate the actual purpose of the thing. Mm. When we're talking about waist beads, when we're talking about yoga, those things were created with other gods outside of God in mind. Mm -hmm. So then you can't repurpose that. Mm -hmm. So when you do it, you may not have that intention, but it was created for other religions and other gods to worship those things, to put those things 
at the top to give to to give to worship to bow down to whatever Mm -hmm. that is the purpose so then in our ignorance we're like oh we can do this and god is like okay so i'm when i when i made the rainbow it was a promise to the world that i wouldn't flood it again Mm -hmm. every time you see the rainbow that's still my promise in action if you are a a a a a connected to the pride community, they've taken that and they made it something different. That doesn't negate the promise that God made when he made it. Mm -hmm. So we have to stop walking in ignorance. If you want to repurpose, that's your repurpose, but still understand that it does not negate the purpose that it had initially when it was created. And I just want to offer this because sometimes when we have these conversations, it comes across as like, in order to be a believer, it's so restrictive. Like you can't do this. You can't do that. Right. Mm -hmm. And as a mother of two young children, mm-hmm. both in diapers, right? They could look at some of the decisions that I make for them and be like, wow, mom is just so restrictive. Yes. She's being so mean, but it's a protection because mm-hmm. they're not ready for certain things. Mm-hmm. They're not mature enough to deal with certain things. Mm-hmm. They don't understand the dangers of running in the street, right. right? So I, as a loving mother, will protect my children. Stay with me. I'm about to bless you. So when you want to play with these other items that already have purpose, and let's say they have some spiritual realm connection, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you have not matured in your faith to know how to come against what you're about to access right. in the spiritual realm. Mm. So you're up opening up doors you're not ready to walk through. So you have a God who's trying to tell you, leave that alone. You don't want that smoke. But no, here you go. You saging and you got your crystals and you doing this, that, and the third. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Mm-hmm. You can't believe in light and not believe in darkness. You can't say you believe in God, but don't believe in the evil one. You can't say you believe in the kingdom of light, but not believe in the kingdom of darkness. Right. So there's not just good spirits. Right. There's just not cast for the friendly goes yes there's all sorts of spirits so if you're not ready for that smoke leave the rocks alone but if that is what you believe in other faiths then do you because you don't believe the promise was for you anyway now that doesn't mean that it wasn't it still is but that's not what you align with Mm -hmm. so live your life Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. but for those who if it's you if you say for god i live for god i'll die but you walk around with some 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 crystals we need to have a conversation in love in love because there are some things you may not understand and there's some doors you're opening that I don't think you really want to strut through sis mm. so I would just lovingly open the door to have a conversation with you and there's so many people who talk about this mm-hmm. like this is so openly available but sometimes we shy away from some of the truth that we know we can easily find you right. can quickly google this this is not even like this isn't even difficult. Like we didn't even have to tap into our recesses Mm-mm. Mm-mm. to have this conversation, right? But sometimes we just want to hold on to a thing even if we know it hurts us because mm. it's popular. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, you talked about it being bad when uh, I said it. You said uh, it. So, so we want to thank uh, <laughs> we want to thank Baby Jesus for bringing us uh, Sister Erica and Sister Sonoria here today. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to host the announcements for today. Today's announcements. <laughs> Tell yes. a friend to tell a friend and make sure to sign up, subscribe to the podcast yes, yes. where we will bless you with a little bit of knowledge. You know yes. what I'm saying? In love. Yes. And so we want you to come back. So yes. make sure yes. to subscribe to the button up top in red, man. Stay tapped in. We didn't talk about much real estate here, mm-hmm. but I, we feel that this is a foundation to all of that. Remember? Absolutely. In love. Absolutely. I wasn't attacking nobody, but we love y'all, man. <laughs> See y'all next time. <laughs>